the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. So, quick recap slash broadcast update and so on of how the channel is going to go for a bit. Uh, skip ahead if you hate knowing things and love wallowing and not in ignorance and asking questions that have already been answered and stuff like that. Uh, so I played Life is Strange, which by the way this is part of. I played Life is Strange back when it first came out, each episode as it was coming out, you know, all that. Had, had, had a fine time with it. Uh, then they announced a prequel, which was not being made by the developers of the Life is Strange, and also was going to be centered around the Ashley Birch character, but not voiced by Ashley Birch. Kind of lukewarm on that, wasn't that excited, didn't really follow up on it. This is out now. They've announced Life is Strange 2, it's coming out I think in September or so on, and I finally decided, alright, let's light a fire under my ass and get caught up. So, my plan for this month is starting with this, we're gonna play this, this is a free prequel thing for Life is Strange 2 that like sets up characters or something from that and might affect things, I, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna follow up on that, where we're going to play this, and then I'm going to play the all of Before the Storm, which is the prequel series that has come out, and then Life is Strange 2 when it comes out uh, later this year. But my concern is, like, you know, the only place to fit in the schedule, because all these games I'm playing are so long, is the puzzle slot, which is the puzzle game slash adventure game slot. And I do consider Life is Strange to be an adventure game, albeit more on the cinematic side than the puzzle side. Like, way, way more modern telltale than, like, point and click, or, like, Dedalic, or, uh, Wadget Eye, and stuff like that. So I understand that it might leave the puzzle people kind of puzzle-starved. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to play all of Life is Strange Before the Storm back-to-back. -back. I'm going to treat it like an episodic game and play each episode after a space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it at this free episode of playing right now, which if you want to play it for yourself, link in the description. Then I'm going to release a similar amount of like Portal 2 custom maps uh, episodes. And then I'm going to play uh, Before the Storm Episode 1, and then release a similar number of Portal 2, and we're going to alternate between the two for like the next month or so, so that the puzzle people aren't starved from all puzzle content for like an entire month. That's the plan, more or less. So keep the, keep the Portal 2 map suggestions coming, but keep them on, we'll keep them on the Portal videos, not these ones, because I won't be looking here. And uh, we'll be getting to those between Life is Strange episodes, and hopefully this keeps everybody happy. Or 50% satisfied, which sometimes we need to just settle, you know? Anyway, let's get this started. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. And if you want to check out my previous playthrough of Life is Strange Season 1, then you can go to the playlist for that. It should show up as an annotation at the end of the video, or there'll probably be a link in the description for just Life is Strange Omnibus playthrough. I'll just put them all in the same one. Uh, as far as temperament goes, I'm pretty, I'm relatively positive on this franchise. I'm, I'm like, this is, this is fine. I don't have major complaints. I understand other people do. If you're one of the people that wants to hate watch these games, you should probably go over to Andrew's channel, The Sad Games. Uh, he has played uh, Season 1 and Before the Storm already, and he is very annoyed at this franchise. So if that's what you want, then go for that. You won't, you probably won't get it here. My response is to this my responses to Life is Strange are very similar to my responses to Until Dawn or David Cage games, which is middling to positive to yes, yeah, all right. I'm not like I'm not like going to go to Tumblr and like fangirl over it or anything, but I'm also like not revolted by it either. Let's go. Oh yeah, by the way, just cuz we missed the disclaimers. This is a fictional story, and similarities to real people aren't real, and so on. And also, uh, seizure warning, and all that stuff. Welcome to the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Square would like you to... Capture data. You, go away. Go away. Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest, 
been an anchor before us, but I don't know where to begin. But I don't know where to begin again. I lost my strength completely. Oh, be near me, tired old mare. of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. They totally baited us because the last game is about somebody with superpowers. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. So they made it look like he was te like telekinetic. Maybe he will be. Gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Safety first. Masks are dumb. They don't even work. It's like, I have an eye mask. I can still tell who you are. I, 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 can, I can see yep. your face. Looks cool so far. Let's see. Oh, that's a terrible helmet. What about the armor? I can still see everything. Just draw a Mandalorian. So cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Full helmet, full armor, colorful. <laughs> make make him a Power Rangers villain. I wonder if that's where this is going to go. We set up this kid and then maybe in Life is Strange 2, he's a teenager, but he actually has... He actually did get the powers that he pretended to have as a kid. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Is anyone else noticing that he's like, he's like way better at doing lettering than drawing? Hmm. Like he actually, that's actually a, a good logo. My power. This is actually a good logo. Watch out, super villains. Today I make my own superhero costume. That's like too good of a logo for how good that drawing is. <laughs> Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Oh yeah? A tat oh we're gonna we're gonna make ourselves a tattoo. It's time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. I can take the pain. 
At least I don't have to use any needles. I can take the pain. Did, ta did children's tattoos get better or something? I thought you had to like get them wet and then like wait for like 10 minutes or something. I don't know, I haven't used one since I was like three. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons. It's a but guitar. just in case. A guitar case? Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? That bear has too many nipples. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader! And he wants you to die! Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh, good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Ah. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me! <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. I want to see his, like, cinematic Rest. universe. Breakfast. Be right there! I want to see a cin cinematic universe where every superhero and supervillain just has crippling, crippling concussions from everybody just constantly just bashing heads against each other forever, over and over again. That's the only way they fight, is just headbutts. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. This hand-painted slash Instagram filter look is a hell of a change from vampire slash vampire, the other don't nod game I'm playing right now. They're a bit of an atmosphere chameleon, aren't they? The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. You can mostly tell to the same developer because the, uh, their, their way of rendering and animating faces is, like, identical between the two games. At least a forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I've been good this year for Here's my list for Christmas. Hot dog adventures, play box console, drawing paper and pens, bas basketball lessons. Basketball lessons from Santa Claus? That's his- that's him being all on the sly when he actually just wants to meet Santa Claus. Chris! I mean now. Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. Well, you, well your dad's right. not a superhero, and normal dads can't just, like, randomly fix your PS2. It's hard. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. Pour yourself some milk. Oh, this got less happy quickly.
Breakfast of Champions. Does that mean you're not a champion, Mr. <sighs> Beer for Breakfast? What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you can be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Just get me sriracha. Then we're set. They can fix any eggs. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh... Big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> it looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Oh, this keeps getting worse. Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I... That, that you got hurt. It's not that bad, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year, huh? Nah, Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. I feel like we're kind of- oh no. We're, we're kind of doomed to have like a questionable driving experience for going somewhere. He's gonna be drinking for the entire game. And then probably fall asleep, then we're supposed to wake him up and try to go somewhere. My dad drank plenty and had all the tendency to sleep, fall asleep and everything, and they're just kind of out of commission and useless at that point. Okay. What would Captain Spirit do? He would read the newspaper Boring. so he could know about all the crimes. Oh, you, what? Bore, it, literally the second word is riots? How, wait, 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 kid. Boring. Local police face more protests and shooting death. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement has been uh, from the police has not been released, but oh, wow, this fucks with me how the, the newspaper changed, like goes to the next line every like two and a half words. For, this is horrible formatting. Uh, 
But sources say that man appeared to be, have been shot by the officer while the latter's death, uh, uh, cause of death remains unknown. Seattle Police Department have been accused of civil rights groups of mishandling the incident which led to the public protest and writing. It's, I think it's already kind of a problem in, a. Uh, I think it's already kind of a problem in uh, in real newspapers, but video game newspapers are such so criminal for like fitting like two words per line, and it just gets it's like a headache to read. I like it's literally like shooting, death, riots, and he's like boring. Need to keep an eye on Mandro and his supervillains. All right, so let's look, let's read through all these. It's his objectives, I guess. I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe if I find a way, uh, what I need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. Hmm. I can practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. I can't let the Water Eater defeat me this time. I could play Mustard Party too, but I, I need to unlock Dad's phone. My superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mandroid as supervillains. I bet Mandroid is still hiding on his planet. With my full costume, I could use my spaceship and find him. So it's all make-believe stuff. Bit concerned about the backdrop of negligence, divorce, and, uh, and child abuse. Because he clearly hinted that he caused the wound. And then him, it, it makes, and then he's all joking, like, haha, might be on the naughty list, huh? It's like, yeah, from the, the day drinking and child abuse? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah, haha. <laughs> cool story, Dad. A pizzeria, Reynolds, and Dad's cell phone. Is Reynolds their realies? I could pick up all the beer cans so we could recycle. Come on! Oh, yeah. We could. Score. Look at you being a badass. Wow, he drinks a lot. Alright. Or he just ignores them for a long time. How do I pulverize the yeah? The beer monster cannot be. Mm. Seriously? <sighs> He's good at that? Question mark. Ooh, Dad's going shopping. For very basic things. I've never seen a beaver around here. Anyone ever tell you you're missing two letters on your shirt? I refuse to believe that there's a superhero team called Also. Better drink that magic milk. You just drank- you just drank it. It's early, but I can make Dad some mac and cheese. He's too lazy, and he won't eat anything. Are you serious? Oh, vomit! You shoot better than that guy any day. Yeah, this stuff's like obliterated, right? Ah. Uh. Oh, no. It looks like uh, something you'd find out- find in Fallout. No. Oh. Score! Two points. I missed my chance to power trash. I made a horrible mistake. Those dishes definitely need a mega Damn, clean. Then let's give it a mega clean. A true hero. Parents for your dad. Oh. Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. The water eater is the water heater? Oh, I guess I, sh I guess I should have seen that coming. What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes! You're not supposed to swear, Dad. Cat. Daddy. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Worth a shot. <laughs> There's my hot dog man. Your hot dog man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Get real about your future. Become a realtor today. 
Oh, is one of these tabs going to be questionable? Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. It almost makes up for the part where he hits you. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo-choo. Multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They've manager, uh, met a reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into confrontation. Instead, if you encounter a problem, yeah, PR-related stuff, railway. Oh, those are dad's pages. Stat, oh, just sports. Thought something more concerning might happen. Join the revolution. You want to play hot dog, man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send what? And send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys to win every month. You're going to cover your child in spicy toppings? That gets them in their eyes. It's also just weird. It's like, what weird fetish is this? Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family. Oh, she's dead, not divorce. And we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love. The way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To, to cut to the chase, we want to help you. We want to help, so we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. That contextualizes his behavior of having lost a spouse, as opposed to strip divorce and stuff like that, but it's still like... There's no excuse, really. And so people in the out- people- it, he, it's obvious enough that he has problems that people on the outside are looking in and being like, Hey, you want- need us to take care of the kid for a year or something? Hmm. Let's check this out. Cities of the Pain. Western movies. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. It's covered in red. So scary. Soft pellet gun. Shoot dad. That'll go over well. I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Was Nick a character in Life is Strange? I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. This has to be mom's. She liked art. Mark Jefferson. Oh. Oh. Wasn't, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in Life is Strange 1, and it wasn't a good thing. If I'm remembering the names correctly. Mine. Grab that up. I can't see anything in here. Let's see, I should probably get clothes on if I'm going to go out into the cold. Is he wearing not he's not wearing shorts, but he is wearing pants and a t-shirt. Dad's room, let's not make that mistake right now. Oh yeah. I feel naked without my costume. Well, then I guess and we'll have to work on that costume, huh? On fire all night. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. Alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of Hot Dog Man? Man, I love this issue. I love how he's depressed and cars knock like street wash onto him. And he cries, but then Toast Man's here to rescue- Oh, it's Bun Man, probably, we right? We draw like this. They laugh, and oh. Wait. Oh, he's a mustard bottle. I was like, what's- what is this weird dongle between his legs? It's don't put that in the kids' comic. It's alarming. And they fought a robot. I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. Wait. So you're mustard too? I like mustard. I'm going to empty you big time. That's okay. No diving today, Nemo.
Oh. Oh, that's a minimalist mustard man. Or hot dog man poster. I see what's going on there. The console doesn't work. Damn, you're on fire. Firecrackers are an empty box. What do I need to do to make my costume? Okay. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Let's press the Captain Spirit button. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power! Okay, that's hey, a good start. Can you get that? But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. There's the phone. Why don't you get the damn phone? I'm a child. What am I, what responsibilities can Chris, I do? Answer the phone, please. Uh hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? I'm eight. Um okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well... I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Very rude, Father. You wouldn't want me to sabotage the water heater now, would you? I can turn this into Lucius, Father, if you wanted to go that way. If you want to keep speaking to me in this manner, I can set up some home alone traps of murder. You're very vulnerable in that chair, father. I can make the soft pellet gun full of spiky pellets. I'll put them in the freezer so they're hard. Where's the rest of my wardrobe? Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. No. Yeah, we should eat, we should eat all 25 of, of them right shit. now. You suck. Go in Jeez, there. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Wait, did... Did we already eat it, or did our dad come into our room and eat today's chocolate? I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Bugs Motel? Oh. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> At first I thought that guy's name was Bugs Motel. I'm like, it's a really weird wrestler name. Hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Did he tell you to let it go? This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. Ooh, yeah. This is perfect cover for a snowmancer sneak attack. Eyes sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <sighs> Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, snowmancer. Ah, uh, I was holding out, holding out hope the walkie-talkie might be a, a link to our one friend, but we don't appear to have a one friend. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Well, you definitely won't now. I've read this one so many times. Where the it's where the wild things are, right? Where the strange thing strange things went. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal Hal. You have a friend that's just on the other side of town and you never get to see him? Well, thanks, Dad. I'm glad the game's more important than me getting to see my friend or having a childhood. It's okay, I'll just make one up in this room. Yay! 
And it's all imagination, because I don't even get to have a video game. Lots of power bear. You know, you're breeding a furry, right? And judging, judging by all the hot dog stuff everywhere, you're gonna you're gonna be getting a furry that's in Devor. So congrats for setting that up, Dad. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. See, his backpack even eats things. That zipper, uh, there's a zipper where the mouth goes. This is all playing into the joke that I just I didn't even know that was gonna be there. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. You've made a horrible mistake, Dad. I hope I can draw as good as Mom someday. Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, Super Mom. <laughs>